Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. So I'm kind of spying on the kids, but I think they see me. But I had them go get the pups because it's time to get them in their pen for the night. And they're pretty smart kids. They found a wagon to get them all in there. Yeah, I got Play-Doh from church. Yeah, you got Play-Doh from church tonight? Y'all gotta go back in there. If y'all would be good, we would be able to keep you out. But they somehow, how, Bailey, how did your croc get outside? Was it by the trampoline? Yeah. Yeah, y'all got to remember we have puppies right now that don't like to, they like to chew, chew up everything. So <laughs> one of her crocs that we actually got for this, this year, um, it's fairly new. It's, um all chewed up and broken so is that seven of them yep. all right good job hi hey, take both of these wagons back down there though because just like you had which this one's my baseball wagon but just one, like though. you had that one y'all both y'all left them both up here and they're um yeah and we got a new one from the oaks and farm on cafeteria yeah we went to a benefit to a friend's, um, careful. Um, there was a benefit for one of our friends that he's a coach and stuff, and they did a silent auction, and we bid on. Um, it was a wagon. It was two rocking chairs, like outside chairs for ball. Um, it, there was an ice chest. There was a fifty-dollar gift card to Academy. There was sunscreen and a first aid pack. I think that was it. And we bid on it and we won it. And I'm real glad we did it. Not only for the softball and baseball stuff, because me, I'm going to use it. And I've always wanted one of those chairs. And I've had, I bought one actually last year or the year before last. But I'm a, I'm one that stands up and I'm, I'm the hollering mom at ball field, at ball games. And so, I'm standing up and then also we have two in baseball one in softball so if there's three games going on I'm kind of standing in the middle because it's all the concessions in the middle and then you got ball fields there's four ball fields around the concession stand so I kind of stand in the middle and kind of peek back and forth at each game so I don't sit very often especially during season uh, ball season but Anyways, um, we went ahead and got it though because not only that, but when we go out to, if we go to the park and stuff like that, we can always take the chairs. And really it was just for the benefit, just because he um, was diagnosed with cancer. I'm not going to say his name or nothing right now, um, but that was the real reason we did it. It wasn't for the actual items. But... I noticed something out here and Kason's over here and hopefully he will be able to help me. Um, we have four chicken coops, but there are only three sets of chickens in them. So we have the bus over here and you can see they do their nightly um, egg. We got the blues or the splashes and lavenders. We got the jubilees. They're all Orpingtons. But we only have one chocolate. Oh, we got three eggs in there. Kazen, what's wrong with this picture? Uh, my chickens are out. Yeah, so where are they? I don't know. You I don't, wasn't up here. You don't know where the chickens are? Uh -uh. So I think it was actually my boo boo because we was checking eggs, Kason and I, today. And, um, yeah, I think I didn't latch the door right. So, they'll come back and they'll roost at nighttime. So I will just wait for that and then we'll get them locked back up. Um, no telling where they are right now. A lot of times they like to go through these woods right here and find all the worms and stuff. And hopefully that's right what they do. Oh my. Where? 
Oh, we got buzzards up here. We got buzzards. Oh, I said blizzards like my song, Blizzard Run Away. Huh. I don't know where they're coming from. But anyways, um, we'll have to figure out how they escaped. Or I know how they escaped, but we'll have to get them because they did escape. Um, I don't know. But maybe I'll find them in just a little bit. Hey, Carly girl. Carly. Come here, baby. Come here, sweetheart. What are you doing? Huh? That's a good girl. Yes, her is. Her's a good girl. Oh, that's a good girl. Yes, her's a good girl. Scratch that ear. Does that feel good? Does that feel good? Yeah. Oh, good girl. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> uh, honey, how are you? How are you doing? No? She don't want to get pet, so. We'll go up here. Actually, what I think I'm going to do, because it's getting kind of later, and I just... It's nice outside. It's not hot and sunny. I'm going to go up here and just go roam around, if y'all don't mind. So, we will see y'all when we get on the south side. All right. Made it on to the south side. Kiddos ran and jam jumped on the trampoline. I think Addison was on her bike. Casey might have been on his bike. And then, yeah, I just wanted to drive around and... I don't know. It's just one of those things you just get in that little mellow mood where you just want to drive the property. You just want to get on the sub side and hop on and just go. And that's how I felt. So here I am. It's a beautiful day and it's just going to get better. So here is Layton's traps. They are not set or they're set off right now. This is where he trapped the bobcat. In this, you could see it's kind of got a trail. The bobcat, um, there's been a bunch of animals actually on there. And it, look how beautiful this is. It's just beautiful property. Let me get back here to this fence. There's a bunch, a bunch of buzzards over there. Look at that. No telling what's back there. That's over there where that uh, creek is. That's crazy. There's still a few over here swarming. Like four, I think. I don't know. Let's go see. Kaysen still has his box trap over there. But if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, it's already set off and nothing's inside of it. But you never know. I, some, trapping is, I see the kids sneaking up behind me. Trapping is just one of Brandon and the kiddos thing. I go out there with them too, but they do a lot of that. So this is the back part. And actually up on this hill up here is the pad to where the, up there on that hill is where the pad to the house is. This is our little junk pile. It's just odds and ends of what we have. And then here's our deer plot. We haven't been back here in a little bit. I'll actually just park and I'm gonna walk on it because it's so pretty. I see you. So look at this beautiful grass. It's just, it doesn't look as green on camera as it does right here to me. Still some corn in there. Some old corn, I think. Yeah, but empty. Yeah. I 
that. And we have some, I don't know what this other stuff is, but it's just darker. You can tell the difference between this and this. You have little splotches everywhere, kind of over here, over here. Here's the deer blind. The kiddos used it a little bit, but Brandon and the kiddos, um, I actually didn't use it this year, but we couldn't ever catch anything on camera. We worked really hard on that. The kids had fun doing it. Just seats and their water. Haha, <laughs> I seen you. What? I seen you. You heard me. I want to go back here and see if there's anything on your trap because the buzzards are kind of over here. Yeah. I think it was set off already, so I don't think anything's in it, but with the with the buzzards here, yeah, I just wanted to check. Oh, yeah, little holes. No, that was a deer. Oh, that was a deer? Remember? I saw them on the camera. Yeah, you was watching those videos and pictures from a long time ago. So much that it won't stop. It just you sl it slowed down. Oh, gotcha. It looks like something's in it. No, it set off and there's nothing in it. I didn't think so. I said it off. You set it off? Yeah. Yep. All right, then back to driving. Back to driving. I just wanted to check. But it's just peaceful. 17 acres seemed like a whole lot when we first bought the property. When we first started tearing down our first tree, tearing down the first building, putting up our first building. And it just, it seemed like a lot. Now that we've lived here for a couple of years, it doesn't seem very big. Like it's big, but it's not that big. I don't know. And there's more area that you can actually travel and stuff because we've taken down trees and stuff. But I love it still. It's just doesn't seem as big as it used to. Hop back on here. I just love driving. I love my Christmas present this side by side. So I like to come through here. And just burn some of that right there. And then I always come up this way and go through here. And that's the back of the house right there. So, so yeah, everybody that has been watching my channel for very long know that I like, I'm the adventurous type, that I like to just go cruise through the woods. Well, this is me just kind of cruising through the woods. And we'll get back up here to the top and um, I will show you Sometimes you have to put it in reverse. But we'll get back up here to the top and we'll go check on all the animals again. I know a lot of people you like seeing the animals, but I also like just relaxing. This is my relaxed video and that's what I'm gonna do. So glad y'all can enjoy it with me. I made it back to the back of the house and um, I'm going to actually have Brandon record me feeding because a lot of times I'll feed them, but it just doesn't get recorded because, well, it's hard to, it's hard to record and feed at the same time. So usually he does the feeding whenever it's getting recorded. All right. So I'm going to go grab feed and then I may go ahead and go get Kaysen in just a minute and have Kaysen help me get the chickens. 
Who knows? Maybe the chocolates have made it back in there by now. Mr. Wacker, you ready for some food? Huh? <laughs> All right. Come on. I'm not fast enough for him. Here he goes. I should have went on the inside. I don't have as long as arms as Brandon. It's kind of pointless to try on the outside. Kaysen okay, so must have been roping again. He likes to rope these bulls in here. They still like that other one better. <laughs> that wasn't really much for the babies, but they can reach that over there. There's so many, we're gonna have to figure out these mamas well here's the newest little mama newest little baby her mama is one of red bears offsprings and she's super cute or I believe it's a he let me look yeah it's a little boy but look at how pure he looks I guess because he's just white and he's got those really, really pretty eyes. They're like, a, they're kind of like a bluish green. It's not really brown like a lot of the goats or blue. Hi. Just a pure goat. Really beautiful. Well, he all went back here. Hi. This, these are um, Skittles, baby, if you can't tell. Both of them are. Hi, they're so sweet. I think they notice, I don't know if it just comes out of just being Skittles babies or if it's more because they see us playing with Skittles and seeing that, oh, she, she lets my mom pet me or she lets someone else pet my mom or whatever. And I don't know, but they're super sweet. You want some, you want some food? Dinner Come time. on. Come on. I'll feed y'all, feed the rest of the ponies and llamas and everything before I go get Kaysen. And who knows, Kaysen feeding the chickens, maybe on the next video. There's just always a lot to do out here and take it one day at a time. Hey there. Is that called snack on the go? All right, watch your, watch your snout. Here, I'll pour you some out. Oh, I can't open it, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I, I'm not meaning to scare you. Let me put this lock on so you don't open it up. Good girl. She's a good girl. You sharing with the chickens? Hmm, there's a good girl. There's a good girl. All right. Oh, look, she's already shedding. You can have some turkey. Whew. And then we're still, we're still only given half and half. So I need to get Carly's food and put it back over here. Okay. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry.
All right, Badger. Y'all go back up. You got back up. Hey, now. That's uncalled for. <laughs> All right, let's go get the ponies. Carly, I'll come back with your dog food, okay? I'll come back. Hi, boys and girls. Y'all hungry? They're starting to get a little bit more tame, Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. Got them. And then um, you can see this Eufy camera is following me. If Brandon wants to watch it, I'm going to walk this way. It's following me. That's pretty cool. Hi, Tom. I will get your dog food, too. All right. Y'all guys are last today. All right. That's the last time I'm going to bug you. Last time I'm going to bug you. All right. So Brandon's going to help me out. He's going to go on the inside. And... Um, I'm going to lift this bucket over to him because it does get pretty heavy carrying it around the farm, but it's just something we do every day. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Huh, Bushwhacker? Are you ready for some food? Huh? Tup tup! Tup tup! What are you doing? Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> All right. So I'll get this here feed and hand it over there. <laughs> Toby wants to play. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get them another bell of hay over here. They just about done. Yep. Yeah. But luckily, it's not near as near as cold as it's been. No. It's been warming the up hay, nice. The hay's going to slow down. Um, just because it's really nice. We're just leaving hay in there because, you know, there's not enough grass back there, but we got some things coming up that we'll share here later on. Um, plans what we're gonna be doing with some of the goats. Yep. All right, well, got all of them fed. So the sun is starting to go down and um, before I actually go and get casing, me and Brandon's just gonna go over there and feed the chickens tonight. What? Oh, Brandon, Brandon trying to electrocute me. But with um, the sun starting to go down, so me and Brandon are actually gonna hurry up and go feed the chickens and um, we'll let Kaysen help me out tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on and subscribe. God bless.